While organizers and Brazilian authorities say they have the security situation under control, others here in Brazil think the police are ill-prepared and ill-equipped to deal with such a big event. The head of Rio's state police union spoke to TRT World and described very difficult working conditions. He said police officers are angry and very anxious. They had hoped for more resources, more investment in public security in the lead up to the games, but instead they find themselves now in their worst possible shape. Now the armed forces have taken over from police. Soldiers are the ones responsible for making sure the athletes and sports fans are safe in Rio during the games. They have been patrolling the streets, the most sensitive areas here in Rio de Janeiro, and they are, of course, on highest alert due to a new threat, a threat uh, that is very new to the Brazilian security forces, which is, of course, the threat of terrorism. They have become the new norm. Security forces are now part of the scenery in Rio de Janeiro. A special unit, the National Task Force, was set up to operate during the Olympics. The world's biggest sports event called for Brazil's largest security operation in history. 85,000 security personnel are tasked with keeping Rio safe during the Games. They include the National Police, soldiers, private contractors and volunteers is an unprecedented security operation. But many people here in Brazil are asking how prepared these officers really are. Including Fabio Neira, the head of Rio's state police union. He says officers are stretched to their limits. Many today are not emotionally fit for such a big operation. We don't know if the government will continue to parcel our salaries, and that is exhausting our officers emotionally. We're all human beings. We have families. Neira says Rio's police force is deeply weakened. We reached a stage we were lacking toilet paper, paper for printing crime reports, fuel for our cars. We have been losing power and strength by the day to execute our mission. Hugo Tisaka manages a private firm that was hired to help with security during the World Cup. He says the rules of the game have changed significantly in the past two years, with the focus now being the threat from terrorism. The biggest challenges in this uh, Olympic is, is that we need to integrate all the information that we have, the local information, also the, the, uh, the data and information coming for, from uh, international agencies and then make it actionable, right? Because this is quite a new threat for us. Brazil is reportedly cooperating with other countries in sharing intelligence. And so far, 12 people have been arrested for suspected ties with terror groups such as Daesh. Authorities in Rio insist everything is under control. But keeping the athletes and spectators safe will be as challenging as the sporting competition. And the ultimate test for Brazilian security forces. Security analysts say the risk is real and that weak border controls as well as easy access to weapons might increase the possibility of attacks, especially those carried out by so-called lone wolves. Brazil is working with other countries such as the United States and France in identifying threats and a multinational intelligence headquarters has been set up in the capital, Brasilia.